question is for Mr. Bishop. Um, like so many other Americans, I've learned the hard way that I can't keep my health insurance policy. In fact, I've learned I must pay a premium that's 35% higher for less coverage. Many Americans, myself included, believe health care reform must be reformed. Do you agree or disagree? And if you disagree, why? If you agree, as a legislator, what do you propose to do to fix it? I'm going to repeat what I said in Hampton Bay's last week, or two weeks ago. I believe that the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare as you call it, uh, is a work in progress. I believe uh, that we are going through uh, transitional difficulty, and I believe that um, that there are elements of the law that are very, very good, and we should keep them, and there are elements of the law that are not working, and we need to fix. Now, the challenge that we have is that in any other mature legislative body, and I will say to you that the House of Representatives under Tea Party control is not a mature legislative body. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they will listen to you, they won't listen to me. Can you please ask them to not do that? Sir? Yeah, it was Bishop. It's both sides. Both sides, not one. You know, he's not been the, he's the only one getting heckled here so far. So, please, folks. Please. 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 Interesting that that yeah. comes on the note of maturity. Go ahead. Please, folks. He is not in control of the You're going to have to leave if you're not going to be quiet. Okay? I don't know who's speaking over there. I will be quiet. I just don't want to listen to a statement saying that the key parties in control of the Senate. Well, he's got the podium. You do not. So if that's a problem for you, you're going to have to leave the room. I'll stop. Mr. Bishop. Please. I will. You're going to have to drag him out past me. Please. I shut up. You don't just keep saying please. John Bass, I shut my mouth. I'm not speaking anymore. Continue. Mr. Bishop. May I continue? Yes. Thank you. In any other mature legislative body, we would set about the task of fixing those things that are wrong. Medicare was passed in 1964 and 1965. We're still not. We're still adjusting because Medicare, even though it was hugely unpopular when it was first passed, and even though people said that it was going to bring socialized medicine and it was going to end the practice of medicine and we know it in this country, now people recognize that we would not be able to deliver anything approaching adequate health care to people over the age of 65 without Medicare. So people support it and they want to see to look at it works. The Affordable Care Act has elements of it that need to be fixed. We have to deal with the issue of the, the, the sole proprietor of business, which I think is the issue uh, that uh, is being referred to here. There's, there's elements of the law that penalize sole proprietors. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows what the fix should be. We should fix it. But again, we're, all we're doing in the House of Representatives is 52 times we've passed, I've voted against them all 52 times, passed legislation that would totally repeal Obamacare. Now, first off, we get it. 52 times, you don't want to have it, fine, I get it. But let's see what's happened in four years. In four years, the first bill that passed the House of Representatives under Republican control was H.R. 1, repeal and replace. Repeal the, Obama, repeal the Affordable Care Act and replace it for something. Four years later, not a single hearing on a single bill to replace it. So if you've got a plan that's going to ensure 13 million Americans, that's going to keep kids on their parents' policies, that's going to do away with the problem of pre-existing conditions. That's going to save seniors $11.5 billion on their prescription drug costs. That's going to help hospitals to the tune of $5.7 billion. You got a plan for that? I'm all ears. Let's hear it. But don't just say we're going to repeal it and not have anything to replace it with. and I have a, uh, a disagreement on this one. Uh, I, I believe that we do need to repeal uh, and replace Obamacare. It has led to higher deductibles, higher premiums, lost doctors, 
cancel policies, longer wait times, hospitals getting monopolies, uh, less insurance networks here. Uh, there are many different proposals as far as what to, uh, how different ways you can replace it. Uh, Tom Price has a proposal in, in the House, Ted Poe has a proposal in the House, Tom Coburn has a proposal in the Senate. Uh, I support allowing children to uh, be able to stay on their parents' policies, to allow people who have pre-existing conditions uh, to be able to gain coverage. Uh, we need to get people off of Medicaid as opposed to more people on Medicaid. Uh, you have to, for folks who are struggling to make ends meet, to have the ability uh, to have private choice, to get the right policy to fit their family so that they can go back to work. Because some people on Medicaid are not going into the workforce because they're risking losing their Medicaid coverage. Uh, some of these proposals also look at uh, reforming parts of the tax code to allow people who are struggling to make ends meet to be able to afford to, uh, to, buy, a uh, to buy a policy. Uh, we need to allow the portability of policies across state lines to allow small businesses to be able to pool policies uh, to save money. Uh, so I keep talking about the same uh, alternatives, but I, I, I haven't quite uh, gotten through to, to the incumbent that there are many other proposals out there. Uh, these are all ideas that I'm sharing. There are many more ideas. Um, and, and, you know, the, the incumbent said in 2010 referring to Obamacare, Obamacare that there's nothing not to like about it. Uh, and I would, I would argue that the implementation has been horrendous. It hasn't even fully kicked in yet. Uh, people are going to get converted from full-time to part-time, 40 hours a week to 30 hours a week. Losing jobs, uh, it's just a bad thing uh, that does need to get repealed and replaced. You know, it may come as a surprise to Lee, but I really do listen to what you say. I know about the Price Bill. I know about the, the Coburn Bill. I know about the Poe Bill. Where are they? Where are they? Speaker of the House, a Republican, controls every single thing that happens in the House. He controls what bills go to committee, he controls what comes out of committee, he controls what goes to the floor. Four years. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So if you have an alternative that the Republicans can call us around, please bring it to the floor. Let's look at it. Let's assess it. Let's have the CBO score it. It has not happened. With respect to one other thing that he said. The number of insurance companies that are going to join the networks for 2015 is up by 25%. That means that there will be more choice. That means that there will be more competition. That means that there will be more transparency. That means that networks can grow. This is the very part of what conservatives consider to be an economic principle. Free competition in the open market. That's what's happening in healthcare now. It's time, Mr. Bishop.